We've learned in previous lesson how to add and delete and to get. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to update data using React Query. So now let's learn how to create a put request using React Query. Don't worry, update bug is like adding bug. So it's not hard. So let's open our hooks. Let's go to use post bug. Let's copy this function and let's go and create a new hook. Let's name it with use edit bug.ts. And let's copy our code. It's like post bug, but we're gonna do some changes. Those changes are instead of use add bug here and here, let's make it use edit bug. And instead of post, let's make it put. And instead of post bug, let's make it edit bug fn. And let's add a new parameter called ID because we're gonna update with ID. I mean, we're gonna select one of those bugs and update them with the ID. Okay, finally, let's add the ID inside this endpoint. So let's make a literal string like this, like this, and just add this mark and add our book ID. Okay, like that. Let's press save. Now we are done with editing a book. Let's go to box screen and try to edit one of those box. First, I would like to mention that I have created a radio button component. If you open components here, radio button, I create this radio button component. It's just a touchable opacity with on press property inside it a view. The radio is a circle view and the selected is a small circle. I'm gonna show you this component. So let's go to, to box screen. In our render item, let's import our radio button. Let's press save. Look, it's just a circle. If we just add a property called is selected, it's gonna be selected. Okay, so now let's create our user state hook here. Const selected item ID and set selected item ID equals to use state of null. Okay. In this radio button is selected is gonna be true if the selected item ID equals to item dot ID. We get this item from our data from the back end. Okay. And when we press on this radio button on press just set selected item ID to our item ID. So let's press save and try to test it. Great, it worked. When I select something, it mark it. It got selected like this. Now let's try to import our hook and use it. So let's create const empty object use edit book. And let's import our mutate function. And let's name it with edit pop. Okay. Now let's try to add a button here. This button is add new book from inputs. Let's make a, another button called edit. Edit pop from inputs. And we're gonna fire this function on edit book function. So let's copy it and go up here and let's create it here. Const edit book fn. Let's copy this, this code at the top here and paste it like that. Okay, but we're gonna do some changes. This mutate is gonna be edit book. Okay. And we're gonna just add our ID. The ID of the book is selected item ID. So let's move it at the top here. We have an issue here, so let's solve it. Let's let's go to our hook. Let's make this ID book body dot ID. Okay, and let's remove this second param. Now let's go to our hook here and add ID of selected item ID 
and let's press save and now let's test so let's test this ID of 2 let's make it edited box and here edited author and the price is 200 and let's press edit box from input great now we have edited it let's try to edit this with ID 4 let's make it best book with best author with price of 10 and let's try to edit book great now we have a book with best book best author with the price of 10 now you have learned how to edit and delete and post and get using react query see you in next lesson and don't forget subscribe